Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sinet Television. Taking a look at a product from Sound Off Signal here in the US. It's available here on SirenNet and it's in the Siren Amplifier section on the website. It is their part number ETSA481 or SP. And uh, there's another variant also available, which is the 482 or SP. The difference between the 481 and the 482 essentially relates to the amount of output that the particular siren amplifier will drive. One is a 100 watt and one is a 200 watt. And again, the tech specs, of course, are available on the website. The nice feature about this unit, it can be mounted either independently of a console box, if you decide to do that, or it can be mounted inside a console box, should you decide to do that as well. Now on the back of the unit here, we've got a variety of different uh, cabling. There's a CAD5 connection, which will run from the controller to the control head. This is the controller here in my hand, and this is the control head. We'll take a quick look at the control head itself. As you can see here, it actually has a three position slider switch, which is quite nice and very positive tactile on that unit. You can kind of hear it as I move it across here. And then in turn, you have a variety of different push buttons which are currently unlabeled. It'll come with a legend pack that will allow you to label those push buttons and you'll be able to set it up in the configuration that you decide to do so with respect to this particular control head. Now the ETSA481 or SP is a brand new unit from SoundOff, so it has some unique functionality available to it. It also comes, as I mentioned earlier, with a variety of components, as I'm showing you here. You've got the control head, you've of course got the amplifier unit. So again, to put this all together, you're gonna to get it all out of the box, which is quite nice as well. Let's take a quick look at the actual amplifier box itself. Pretty robust and well-designed, of course, from the gang over at SoundOff. And you've got your input area here at the back that allow you to plug in your light bar and other associated components should you decide to be running a light bar, whether it's a slick top vehicle or a non-slick top vehicle, you get to the side. Some additional tech specs on the units as follows. You've got basically a total of seven 10 amp inputs on the back of the unit tied in with an additional three 20 amp units. They're all internally fused, by the way for powering solenoids, for gun lock, for example, as well as also giving additional power and signaling for other items that you might want to use in the vehicle, such as a printer, radar, GPS system, should you decide to do so. The nice thing about this, again, it always has with SoundOff built-in reverse polarity protection for those of us who occasionally mess things up, <laughs> sometimes happens. The other nice thing about this unit, you can also do a horn ring scroll. In other words, you've got the ability to connect this unit to your vehicle horn, which by depressing it, you'll be able to change your tones and by tapping it again, turn it off as well. Of course, there's additional technical spec available on the website, so go ahead and check that out too. Well, there you have it. A quick look at a brand new Siren amplifier with a control head available from SoundOff, available here on SirenNet. As always, many thanks for watching SirenNet Television. I'm Stuart.